This is Sarah Poff and those art hands. Today we're going to make a mock corn husk doll. Okay, all I have is a roll of paper towels. I have some yarn and I have some string and a pair of scissors and maybe a little pop ingenuity. All right, here we go. The first thing I have is I've cut paper towels, a little bit longer than what she is so that I can allow for her head. I want the shorter one on top. One time somebody asked me about, like, well, how big do you make those? Well, however big the material is, however big I decide to do it at that time. Okay, so now I have those two together. I've wadded a piece of paper towel that I'm gonna stuff in the middle here. I'm gonna stuff on the middle. I'm gonna get me a piece of string to tie around the neck, and then I'm gonna wad this in. So I'm wadding this, knowing that that's going to be her head. So I'm kind of wadding it around. And I'm going to take my string. And if you have somebody to help you, you could tie it maybe a different way, but I always just leave it kind of in the middle of that string and then just kind of wind it around several different times that way. And I'm going to tie it off in the back. Okay. Spread her out so that it looks more like a dress. All right, then I have a couple of pieces of paper towel like this. What I'm going to do with them is I'm going to fold them like this. Just, I'm kind of rolling them over. You could fold or you could roll. Now I'm going to take another little piece of string. I'm going to tie in the middle. These are going to become the arms. you want that corn that corn husk look you can just do like this trim or if you don't want that you could just leave I just thought the other day I had a whole bunch of these I thought oh my goodness I don't know what to do with them I've got too many what could I make with them okay now I'm going back into this piece it's kind of ghost looking I'm raising up the two layers so I'm in between the two layers. I raised up two pieces, and there's two pieces still down there. And I'm going to stick those arms in there like this. I'm going to turn it a little bit so that where that uh, end of it is, it's on the back side. And I'm kind of thinking about how is this going to look, you know, how is it going to look in the final product before I tie all right, I'm going to go back and get me a fairly long piece of string this time because I'm going to tie this one around the waist. See how I do that? I just start in and I pull it tight. That way I don't have to have anybody help me. And I can pretty pull it pretty tight as I'm going. And you could leave this bow in the front if you want, or you could put it in the back and just tie it off. It depends on if you're looking at it as a decorative piece or it's just a purpose piece to um, keep it closed. All right, now on each arm, I want just a little piece of string and that's gonna make it look a little bit like the wrist. So here we go. I'm gonna mash it in, wrap it around like I was telling you, wrap it around tight. Alright, there we go. Okay, here's another one. I'm make it on this side. I'm going to kind of put it in the middle there, wrap it around a couple of times, pull it kind of tight. Then I can kind of let up my fingers so that I can pull even tighter. And I may want to come back here later, like now, and cut 
off those strings because it's going to look more finished that way. Okay. Now on the hair, what I did is I took a fairly long piece, kind of decided how long I wanted the hair to be, about like that. And so I took the yarn and I just made it that size. I went back and forth. There's lots of different ways that you could do this. But since we're just doing a little bit of hair, we're doing it kind of quick, this works for me. All right, then I'm going to cut those. And they're not all the same length. I mean, you could take time and do that if you wanted. But then I don't know about your hair, but my hair is not the same length in every place. Some places it's a little longer than the others. And then I'm going to tie this. Now I try to get children not to put face on there because their dolls would not, you know, typically would not have had a face. But the children have a really hard time with that. So, you know, that's your decision. Okay, so there, then I'm going to just hot glue the hair on like this. Now, you might want to know how I did this piece because it looks decorative around here. It's not too hard. Just a fairly long piece of string. It makes it look um, like a, maybe a design in the material, but it also helps hold it better. So let's see what we can do here. I just wrapped diagonally three or four times, trying to keep the string close together so that it looks like a design on there. Okay, so now that's four times. So let's see if I switch sides and do about four times from the other way. Two, three, four. Now I'm going to go back around the back since I tied the bow on the other side with the waist string. I'm just going to tie that off. Now I believe that my back skirt is longer than my front, so I think I'm going to cut that, trim that off. Now you could even take this if you wanted and do a little bit of marker decoration. Okay, this is my mock cord husk doll. I hope you had fun with this. This is Sarah Pop and those art hands. You have a great day now.